Hello, hello. This is going to be a mediumship interview. I've been trying to figure out who wants to come through first, Kaylee or Maddie, and I'm not really sure, so. Kaylee, because she's the one who left, so she technically like disappeared. Is it Kaylee? Uh -huh. Yeah, she's mad and got some stuff to say. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's time for her to defend herself. This is going to be Kaylee's interview in defense of herself. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's correct. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a mediumship interview with Kaylee. Um, and the next one will be Maddie. I'm gonna do that one today as well because I did Ethan and Xana on the same day. So I'm gonna do them the same day. Um, this is an energy reading. It is all alleged, my opinion, not facts. Okay, here we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing this a little different, less shuffling and more um, I don't know what I want to call it yet, but it's like this. Because it's faster communication that way. So. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, Kaylee, what is the first thing that you would like to talk about? Well, does she wanted to defend herself today? Okay, what about judgment? The heavy burden. The heavy burden about everything that people don't know because it's being purposely covered up. Yeah. Hiding the roots. Oh, they are hiding the roots of why this happened. Mm -hmm. they're not telling the whole truth not showing both sides of the page um <clears throat> what is the reason for that because they don't want people talking about the release of Oh, the release publicly of what everyone in Moscow already knows. Mm -hmm. The truth is already moving to some extent when it comes to um, the, the roots of what stemmed the, the, obviously this is not a flower. Um, I don't know how cactuses grow, so I can't use a cactus. Let's just use a flower. Let's pretend this event is a flower. Obviously not a good flower, but <clears throat> I don't know how a cactus grows, so I don't know how to compare, but a flower <clears throat> goes down, roots, like this, the seed sprouts and then comes up and roots. Everything below the surface, we don't know about because they don't want people outside of the general area talking about it but inside the general area they kind of want people they don't hate that people are talking about it because they want people scared so that nobody talks to the rest of the world priorities people have to have two sets of priorities because they have to have a priority to their own safety even if it means not being able to speak the truth and then they also have to have a priority to their own moral compass. So even if they don't speak the truth and they let things continue, even if they think that they're getting away with it, they won't eventually. They will pay. Trapped. You're trapped in the consequences of your own actions, even if you're doing it to save your own butt because you made decisions in the first place down that slippery slope that got you into the situation in the first place where you had something that you had to lie about or cover up. 
the discovery. People already know what's going on, but they can't speak it externally because <clears throat> there's Okay, huh? There is a uh, there is a flip the card. Oh, hmm. There is a devil unleashed in Moscow. Yep, King of the Lies. Okay, next topic. <clears throat> um, Kaylee, how would you describe what happened? Not like, you know, what happened, but like what happened? What happened leading up to the point where you were attacked? Like, from the time the killer got in the house until the time that you were attacked, what went down? Oh, she's telling us, okay. Someone took her light. When, <clears throat> when someone took her light, she knew something was coming. She was aware that there was a problem and that someone was going to find some kind of solution. Mm hmm Yep. Because too much talk, too much talk, too much talking had happened. Lo loose lip, loose lips, loose lips sink ships, she's saying. A decision you can't go back from and look there's no boat in the background loose lip, lips sink ships <clears throat> but she wasn't trying to gossip by talking and neither was Maddie they were putting out feelers to see who they could trust because it was like they had to take little baby steps towards safety and they weren't sure where safety was, but they knew there was some if they found the right person. Um, but they had to take little baby steps mm -hmm. towards freedom so that they wouldn't be trapped. Swords, the word. I had to be very mindful with what I was saying because I knew I had to say something because I could not, in my own conscience, How I just said that Kaylee said, even if you're doing it for your own safety and your own protection, if you kind of let yourself go down the mountain of being involved in this in the first place and now are not saying anything about it and doing the right thing, you'll have to pay the consequences. She's saying she couldn't do that. She couldn't have this information and sit on it and live with herself. Even though she's saying I might not have gone about it in the right way, obviously looking back in retrospect now, but there's no way that I could have known what I was up against, but I couldn't take what I knew and just sit on it and not try to change it. Mm -hmm. Because the people that she cared about were being emotionally manipulated by what was going on on campus and she wasn't able to get people to see that. And even though it looked like she was still just partying and going about her normal life, she had to make it look normal. Because if not, if she stopped partying, if she stopped drinking, if she stopped doing this or that, it would have been like a buzzer letting them know, hey, something's up. And guess what? I haven't left campus yet. So there's still time to figure out what to do to me. But after she left campus, she came back because Maddie was in danger without her. Mm -hmm. My best friend, the queen of my heart was in danger without me. Oh. 
Um, so what did you go in back, Kaylee? What, what, how, what was, why, like what was, how was that helping Maddie not be in danger? Oh, the organization. The organization what? Didn't want all of their hard work to go to waste by us talking. There was an original plan for them, but it wasn't murder. There was something in place when they realized that Kaylee was coming back temporarily. There was a plan put in place. It wasn't initially murder until the girls went out that night and there was something specific said that was the, the, la the line drawn in the sand. Six of Cups, both of the girls out that night. They got too close to accidentally naming someone without naming them. They gave too many details about someone. Mm -hmm. An angel, you can describe an angel, but you can't see an angel, right? It's also about balance, give and take, knowing when to say too much and when, when not. <clears throat> um, something specific. Um, they got too close, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what's going on. They got too close to describing Um, oh, she wants me to use this deck. This is a new deck I got. It's called the Citadel Fantasy Oracle. They got too close to describing the wise one, tradition and order. And there's that flower rooting out of the ground that I was talking about. And behind that is the Acolyte, new projects and learning. The wise one and new projects learning. <clears throat> oh, and Knight of Pentacles was the next sitting there. Um, you got too close to describing someone, the wise one, new projects learning. Oh. Did they get too close to describing Brent's involvement? Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the truth. Oh. Okay. Um, I need to reshuffle the deck. Okay, Kaylee, can you give us, um, a play-by-play -play of what happens start to finish? Death and Nine of Swords reverse. That's like the image of inside the bedroom and then death coming for them. Nine of Swords is reversed. It's safe to say that you were worried because you had talked and that's why you were calling your ex or Maddie's ex, whichever ex. Um, but you had no idea that they would be able to actually get into the house. Yeah. You were worried about people coming to the front door. Kaylee and Maddie weren't worried about people breaking into the house because she didn't think they would take it there, but she was scared of people coming up to the front door and like, 
Um, I'm getting the image of the purge when everyone's walking around in masks and they're like hunting for people. I'm getting the image of that, but for some reason the girls didn't think that they could actually come inside. Yeah. They didn't think they'd bring the fight inside the house. Is it because of the amount of people in the house? And if they were just after you, there'd be too many other people in the house for them to come in and do anything and be able to get away with it with, without the cops being called? Is that what you and Maddie thought? Yeah. King of Cups, we just had the Queen of Cups when I said you didn't think they could get inside the house, did you? No. Um, <clears throat> okay, so when do you first become aware that they're inside the house? You first became aware that they were in the house when they came up and did something to your door to get in. Mm -hmm. So they didn't hear anything downstairs or anything. They only heard once there was a scratch at the door. And that was intentional because the people knew that the girls thought that they wouldn't come in the house. Mm-hmm. It's like not looking ahead, not looking ahead in that way, not thinking that that was a reality. Um, so you and Maddie are in the same room because you're scared, but you don't think anyone's going to come in, but you're still scared because you know that you said too much. Um, with good intentions and trying to find safety, honestly. So obviously good intentions, mm -hmm. not scared to try and find safety, trying to avoid a disaster. Mm -hmm. Um, I have such a bad headache all of a sudden, like right in this temple. Oh. Door opens and one of the girls gets hit right in the side of the head. Mm -hmm. Um. This would be like air coming out of nowhere. Also, the wands is like the male body part. So this is like a, that head, um, butt head. Um, oh my God. Can I say that? It's like they open the door and headbutt one of the girls. Is that correct? Oh, and the Ace of Swords is sitting there too. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, one minute, I need to like clear that out of my mind really quick. Okay. Um, yes, I just pretended that that water washed the image out of my mind because that's all I got right now. Okay. Um, so I just shuffled in a bunch of these fell out, so. 
I just said about the butt head thing and now we have the king of the butt heads. What is done in the dark will come to the light. Um, the seeds that you sow, you will reap. So I don't want to get into detail right now because it's that the headbutt thing is already sending me. So we're going to not go into too much detail. Um, so they attack you and Maddie and then what? Then they go downstairs to they run into one person. So they're upstairs. I believe it's just Brian upstairs. Is it Brian or is it two people? Just Brian. So he comes downstairs and he runs into either Ethan or Xana. Ethan, King of Pentacles. Comes downstairs, runs into Ethan. E oh. That, yeah, Xana heard a noise and sent Ethan out to see the noise because the girls had said something to Xana about being nervous or scared and Xana heard the door dash but then heard noise after the door dash. Was the door dash delivered so that they could get out of the house? Mm-hmm. Because if they went upstairs to you two, then they would be tr Then they would be trapped up there. They'd have to get someone to go and make noise in the front while they sneak out the back. But that didn't work because the timing of everything got thrown off because of Ethan and Xana not going straight home. So the timing of everything got thrown off. There was less time in between entering and the door dash than had originally been planned. And so the door dash did not cover the noise of whoever leaving. Xana heard it, said, hey, Ethan. Ethan got up and ran into them coming, or ran into him coming down the steps. Ethan and Zana. Um, ran into him coming down the steps. Ethan ran back down the hallway towards Zana because Zana had the lock and the door was open. He left the door open to go check on the noise. So all he wanted to do was get down to the end of the hallway, grab that door and slam it shut so Zana could get out of the room. Oh my God, I just got goosebumps all over my body. He was trying to protect her. Ethan saw someone in the house, knew right away what it was, turned around and ran as fast as he could down the hallway to try and grab the handle of the door and shut it. Because if it was shut, Xana would have at least a couple seconds before they broke down that door to get out the window. Is it safe to say that the person that headbutted Kaylee or Maddie, whoever headbutted one of you, is that the same person that I'm going to say one of you were headbutted in the side of the head and Ethan was headbutted right here in the front? Yeah, by the organization. 
because what they felt felt was karma or owed to them because of talking well the girls it was talking ethan it was the disruption of the plan because the plan again was to have xana go upstairs and find her friends deceased mm -hmm. betrayal and strategy And Ethan then messed up that entire plan because now they had to kill more people because Xana would have been silenced by her friends being murdered upstairs in her own house. Mm -hmm. A decision you can't go back from with the sword, the word. So Ethan runs down the hallway, tries to grab the door to close it, and they mock him by then holding him back while they go in and attack Xana. Oh my God. That's why they made him watch because he messed up their plans because their plans were originally to take one of the girls and then hence domino effects scare the rest of them into shutting up and then case closed one person missing whatever happens all the time right well that plan didn't work because the pool party failed mm -hmm. they were not able to get in there and lure one of the girls away with words hey come here let me show you this so that plan then had to change. Once Kaylee came back, there was the opportunity because was it Maddie was supposed to be taken and then it switched to, who was supposed to be taken? The Emperor reversed, the Emperor reversed. Kaylee, because she's the one who had the ex that was called. Walking away from the ex, yeah. So Kaylee was supposed to be taken. Couldn't be taken. Plan had to switch. And then once the plan had to switch again, it was like, okay, now we're really going to teach them a lesson because we were only supposed to have to take one person. That didn't work. Now we had to kill two people. But now after that happens, I walk downstairs and there's this dude that interrupts my plans. So now I can't have his girlfriend go up and see her friend is dead because they already saw us. So now not only do I have to kill him, but then he goes down and tries to save her. How dare he? He can't save her. Give and take. Ethan would have given his life in half of a heartbeat if it meant they didn't take Xana's. Some cups spilled over, some cups not. He would have gladly given his life and he tried to, to save her, but he was not able to get to the door in time. His priorities were all the way straight. He didn't even hesitate for a second. He literally saw the person. It registered. Oh my gosh, I didn't feel good. It was like this instant domino effect. Oh my gosh, I didn't feel good. I must have been drugged. That's what's going on. These people are attacking us. Boom. I just need to get to that door, shut it, and yell to Xana to get out of the window. Up the deck. So that's why Ethan's was so brutal because he messed up the entire plan. Now this was going to be a big deal because now it's four people instead of two. 
and it all happened the way it did because he messed up the timing because he was supposed to stay at the party but he left and there was like a period where nobody knew where they were before they got back to the house so the person who was waiting in the house could not start the attack until they were in the bedroom and it was a silent attack so that they couldn't really hear it but then when they went downstairs and ethan ran into the person and that happened that's why it was so brutal because they knew right then that this was going to be a huge deal and it was his fault king of pentacles um Um, his fault. Um, okay, what now? What do you want to talk about, Kaylee? <sighs> I knew that was coming. Surviving roommates. only looked out for themselves and were not real friends or family. Um, Kaylee saying they deceived us because they were jealous of us. Mm -hmm. They, the girls got the attention that they wanted and it was easy for others to get them to deceive the girls because they played into this jealousy mm -hmm. a one a one-way street here the friendship was a one-way street all right what do we need to know they were not asleep Okay. She's saying that they knew darn well what was going on. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Giving and receiving. The two way street, they knew what was going on. They did not do anything because. They felt like there was nothing they could do anyway, so why even try and put themselves in danger to stop a plan that's bigger than them? Oh yeah. Plan that's bigger than them. How did they get involved in this plan? Someone misled or lied to them. Yeah, fast talk to them. They got too deep before they realized how deep they were. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Once they realized how deep they were, they felt. Oh, my stomach just growled huge. Queen of Pentacles reversed. They felt stomach growl, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Stomach turning, uprooted. Once they realized how deep they were in, their stomach was turning and they felt like they had been ripped out of real life. And they had to adjust to the new, what was going on. Yeah. She wants me to use these. I'm gonna use these and then I'm gonna go eat because apparently I'm hungry. I don't think 
feel hungry, but I think I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go eat really quick after these. Um, five is the number. Okay. So that would be confirming the jealousy thing. One. Oh. So that's confirming the drug thing. Three. Fired. Hired. They were hired into the organization. Okay. Kaylee. Girl. Um. One, two, three, four. Oh, what's the last card? Law enforcement and they were hired into the organization and then we got law enforcement. Okay. Kaylee. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go get a snack real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to reshuffle the deck. Um, we had jealousy, drugs and poison, fired in reverse, law enforcement, and government. Um... terms of the surviving roommates allegedly my opinion no facts allegedly my opinion what would you like to tell us about that Kaylee? a separation between sides of the house um a, a, a house divided you had a choice and you made the wrong one your priorities were all messed up did we just get two twos in a row two Two, two is six and three cards to make it up. Oh. Um, you're trying to tell us that they chose evil. Mm -hmm. Because they were misled and lied to about the reality of it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, they were shown the wrong side of the page on purpose mm -hmm. by someone that they trusted. Mm -hmm. It feels like someone initially led the surviving roommates to feel like they were I don't know, I guess like giving information about the girls or something to protect them. It, it's almost like it was um, presented as that at first. And then they had an opportunity to see it for what it really was, but they chose to just stay in the comfort zone and see it, the delusion that they had painted. Yeah. And the card behind almost came out. So what is that? Okay. You're gonna say it just like that. Um, Kaylee's saying that they were too weak-minded to trust their own judgment when it came to their intuition and what their intuition was screaming to them. Yeah. They couldn't get themselves out of it because they stayed in the comfort zone of delusion, even though they knew that whatever they were doing wasn't actually helping the girls, but it was presented as that, so they let themselves believe that it was. Yep. <clears throat> okay. These again. Five. Yeah, they just didn't care enough. They didn't care enough though because of the drugs. Oh, and because of a debt. Oh. 
it's like feeding into a monster. The monster only has the amount of energy that you give it. Mm -hmm. Bloodline, if you cut the line off, it, it doesn't have the power. Um, but they kept feeding it power because they were allowing themselves to believe the delusion that they were helping even though they knew that they weren't. Okay. One, two, three, four, this is five. Oh wait, no, one, two, three, this is four. She's about to tell us what their role was in terms of surveillance, how. You're on my heart just like a tattoo, tattoo. They were everywhere. They watched everything that they did and reported back. Mm -hmm. They weren't their true accomplice and partner. They were partnered with the other side. Because this is upside down, like a ritual gone wrong, like their, their plan exposed, and this looks like a devil horn. Like, poop, poop, poop. Last card. Meeting over. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Okay. Um. Can we stop talking about that now? Thank you. Okay. Um. Dylan, the archer, biding your time and planning ahead. Okay. Bethany, the astronomer, discovery and A-U-G-U-R-Y. Oh, my computer's like closed and under all this stuff. I'll look it up later what that means. Um, discovery. So, planning ahead, buying time, buying your time, and discovery. Did Dylan let Bethany find the bodies? Oh. All right, we're done with that part of the conversation. I've had enough. All right, um. Oop, maybe not what fell out. Page of Wands reverse, Six of Swords. She wouldn't let her call police. She made her find the bodies and then wouldn't let her call police. Allegedly, my opinion, no facts. Is that what you were trying to say, Kaylee? Mm -hmm. Um, Nine of Pentacles came out, so I get what I want. Uh, Kaylee wanted me to say that the reading, my readings are a little bit different where I'm not <clears throat> getting the info from the card and then making sense of it and piecing it together. That's what I was doing before. And now I'm getting the information and confirming it with the card, which is why I'm not explaining the cards as much as I was. Um, I will create some kind of sheet for you all so that you can have it with you the very short like a couple words on the sheet so that you can see 
what each card means if you want to have it with you but i'm not going to be explaining them quite as much because it kind of disrupts the flow when it's like a conversation because it's almost like if you're having a conversation it's almost like i'm having a conversation with kaylee and showing you my conversation with kaylee but then every couple minutes i have to pause and be like oh this means this this is this it's almost like if there's like um like someone else that's like trying to disrupt you not like not that you're trying to disrupt me because you're watching a video but like i'm just explaining why it's shifting a little bit um and i think she wanted me to say that now because she doesn't want people to be like do this different or that different in the reading because i'm doing it how she wants it to be presented there's that same card because she has a lot to say mm -hmm. Um, what? Do you want to talk about the plan from Brian, the plan for Brian? Mm -hmm. Plan for Brian is, oh, the Lynx plan for Brian is, Um, uh, literally the way if I have to take you out, I'll take you out. Oh, hmm. Okay. How, how, like how, five cards. Okay. I was going to say, how would they get away with that? The emperor and the hierophant, because they can if they want to. Life insurance. Oh my. Um, life insurance and portal. Regret in reverse. This was a card that represented Brent. One, two, three. If needed, they would have another inmate take him out. Okay. Last card. was sitting there. School in reverse and cryptocurrency. What would you like to say about that? If they have to take something out of their arsenal in terms of a plan that they normally wouldn't have done because it's too risky in this scenario, they'd be willing to do it. You don't want me to talk anything else about that, do you? Yeah. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, she said. Nope, that's enough. Be quiet. Gotcha. Um, her 
message. I don't know where they are. Hold on one second. Where did this card go? Oh, here they are. They were hiding. Okay. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, and removing negativity. It's from a different deck. I didn't grab that deck, but it came with it, so. Um. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. She just told me to stop talking about the stuff I was talking about and then cleanse because I was getting ready to give her message to Maddie with the mediumship cards cleansing she just cleansed the space she literally just sent this is from the deck that was behind that deck but it's over here oh my god it says today and it has a flower present now in the moment i'm cleansing the space right now okay well thank you for that Appreciate that. <laughs> Kaylee's message to Maddie. If only I had known then what I know now, I would have lived differently. Three total. One. I see all of your thoughts. I yo, I really honestly would not be surprised if they had, even on Earth, a telepathic connection. They might not even been aware of it, but um at the very least, they could completely read one another's energy. Like almost like just looking at yourself. Um She wants me to pick up um, a random token. Oh, it's a cup of coffee uh, and an octopus. Cup of coffee, like sitting down for coffee. Come on now. Sitting down for coffee, like talking to your friend over coffee and then... I can't hold this. And then an octopus, like the lines of connection, like between source energy and like one line is them, one line is them, but they're connected, like the telepathy that I was just saying. Um, I see all of your thought. Oh, I think I know what the third card is. Oh my gosh. It's, I split the deck in half and the other half of the deck is sitting right underneath of me. And I just looked down when I did the coffee thing and I saw what the card said. And I know that this is the card. So I'm gonna do this card and the one behind this is gonna confirm that this was the card she wanted to say. You have nothing to feel guilty about. Confirm. I always give you a good night kiss. You have nothing to feel guilty about. I always give you a good night kiss. They were killed in the same bed. Kaylee has no hard feelings towards Maddie whatsoever. Zero. Um, oh, this one. Still same thing, Kaylee to Maddie. You have sensed me while you felt a light breeze. Two more. Oh, I see what she just did there. That message that I just blew your way. This is for you. This is for you, Maddie, from me, Kaylee. I just wanted to remind you, in case you didn't hear me the first time, release any guilt or blame you may feel. It is not your fault. The breeze is her saying, I just said this, but I'm going to say it again. Oh, 
A song we both love comes on when you miss and think about me. Oh, let me go get my iPad one second. Okay, um, so I, I was just thinking to myself, well, I can't play the songs, we know that, right? <laughs> um, because of my live and how it was taken down because of the music. And then I was like, oh, that thought popped into my head because she wants me to use the blueprint playlist um, for the songs. So I'm gonna shuffle three songs. I'm not gonna play them, but I'll tell you what they are and then you can look up the lyrics. Actually, I'll look up the lyrics. Um, yeah, let me do that. Let me open my computer. So I'll read you the part of the lyrics in the songs that are sticking out to me as her message. Um, we're gonna do three songs. First song, and it's on shuffle. I'm gonna cry. Hold on. <laughs> I've had the time of my life by Bill Medley and Jennifer Waynes, Warnes. One sec. Now I've had the time of my life. I swear it's the truth and I owe it all to you. second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna get all the cards so I can, uh, oh, my cat came to sing. My cat is singing because we're not allowed to play the music. I've had the time of my life. Yes, I swear it's the truth and I owe it all to you. Maddie made it so Kaylee never got stuck crying over spilt milk because she always was able to redirect her in a more positive direction when she needed it. Mm -hmm. Maddie helped tame Kaylee's demons specifically. She was her demon slayer in a way. Oh my gosh, yeah. Big yeah, okay. Got ya. I've been waiting so long, now I've finally found someone to stand by me. Always had my back, always told the truth, always helped lead me in the right direction. Out of the darkness. Help me, Maddie helped me see through the darkness. She was my nightlight. She made the war in my mind more manageable. I wasn't alone anymore because of her. Um, we saw the writing on the wall. Now with passion in our eyes, there's no way we could disguise it secretly. Oh my gosh. Are you talking about what you knew? Mm -hmm. it, you didn't feel right keeping it to yourself. You had to let someone know because morally you couldn't live with yourself if you didn't at least try. And that's kind of even what bonded you and Maddie more. Mm -hmm. Position you can't go back from. Just remember, you're the one thing I can't get enough of. With body, mind, and soul. I'm changing the lyrics, but I'll love you more than you will ever know. This is giving me the lyrics, ain't no mountain high enough. Is that what it is? Ain't no mountain high enough? I would climb any mountain by myself to get to you. 
because you are my true family. Not that her family wasn't, but she was also her true, like, soul family as well. Okay, so it just repeats the rest of the lyrics. So the second song. When the world's Queen of Hearts by We the Kings. Somewhere, somehow is the album name. Oh, the song says you're my queen of hearts. Oh. When the world falls into pieces, you'll be my one voice of reason. Oh, it's what I just said. When I can't face all my demons, you're the one I believe in. Through the thunder and the rain. Together we fall, together we fly away. Hold me closely, you are my one and only. Oh my gosh. They cut our journey short by betraying us, but There's no me without you. Queen of Wands and Queen of Hearts. Oh my gosh, Kaylee. You're the Queen of Hearts, make me your king. You'll be a diamond, I got the ring. We could rule the world, own everything. I'll be the Jay-Z, you be my bae. Oh my gosh. Two opposing forces working together and movement. Oh, she knows that she's moving everyone right now, like move, like emotionally. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Cause you've got me upside down. I know you inside out. They'll call me crazy baby, but you saved me. Can't you see? Oh my gosh, can't you see? Oh my gosh, she. Oh. This reading isn't for anybody else but Maddie, is it, Kaylee? Oh my gosh. Because she's my world and I had to let her know. I had to let. Mm, that's what it is. It's for Maddie, but it's not for, it is for Maddie, but they can talk, right? So it's like for Maddie, but not for Maddie. It's for Kaylee to let Maddie know, you know, it's for Kaylee to let the world know how she feels about Maddie and that when the world falls into pieces, you'll be the one voice of reason. When I can't face all my demons or the one I believe in through the thunder and the rain, together we fall, together we fly away. It's not letting Maddie know that. Maddie already knows that. She wants everybody else to know that there's no hard feelings. And even though Maddie was the one that was on camera, like talking to Adam, there's no anger. The love was not taken away at all. No love, lo oh, no love lost. Yeah, no love lost. You're Mona Lisa, I'm Da Vinci. The smile on your face is all that I need. You'll be my wild, I'll be your West. You know that I'd be your bulletproof vest. Kaylee, you were the one that was headbutted that opened the door, weren't you? Open the door, headbutt Kaylee, grab her, attack Maddie. 
and then Kaylee. You're everywhere I want to be, even when you're far from me. I'll still hold you closer than you know. Oh my God, they did to Ethan what they did to Kaylee, held her back and made her watch. Yeah, even when you want to leave, I'd let you take that part of me. I know that it would kill me, but I swear I'd let you go. All right. <clears throat> Last song. Not Over You by Gavin DeGraw. Kaylee said, in, first, in case you didn't understand the message the first time, I'm not upset with her. I'm not, she's still my heart. She's still the one who. The, so coming from Kaylee, Maddie is the one who introduced me to me, like me to myself. Mm -hmm. She gave me access to my uh, full personality again. Oh, yes. Justice reversed. Not Over You by Gavin DeGraw. Gavin just walked out of his room. Be right back. Yes, honey. One second. So what's crazy about that timing, right, is because it's 8.58 in the morning right now, and usually Gavin wakes up at anywhere between like 6, so 5.30 to 6.30. Um, but he slept in. I let him sleep in today because I let him stay up till 11.11 11 for his birthday last night since he turned 11. Um, and we went to the water park and walked up like a million steps yesterday, so he was not getting up. So I let him sleep today. And so it's interesting that that came out right as the Gavin DeGraw song came on. Um, oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. Okay. Dream, that's where I have to go to see your beautiful face anymore. I stare at a picture of you and listen to the radio. The card that started this whole process. It's all for you. Kaylee's saying, Maddie, it's all for you. Mm -hmm. Just like you helped me ease the battle in my mind, I don't want your name to be tarnished as, oh, she said too much and caused this because it's so much deeper than that. Um, hope, hope there's a conversation. We both admit we had it good, but until then it's alienation. I know that much is understood. <laughs> Dear Kaylee, are you calling me out? It wasn't until I figured out how to do the interview. Yep. It wasn't until I figured out how to how to do the interview style of reading that she would be able to get her message across clearly. This is what was in my mind. I'm putting hard work to get it across. <laughs> um, and I realize if you ask me how I'm doing, I would say I'm doing just fine. I would lie and say that you're not on my mind, but I go out, I sit down at a table set for two, and finally I'm forced to face the truth. one way or another with both of us both of them walk down one path she's 
straight into the arms of the organization. Yep. Um, is it safe to say that whatever the two of you said pissed off the head of the organization? Yeah. Damn, damn girl, you do it well. And I thought you were innocent. Took this heart and put it through hell, but still you're magnificent. I, I'm a boomerang. Doesn't matter how you throw me. I turn around and get back in the game. Even better than the old me, but I'm not even close without you. Judgment. Oh, before they could start, um, really showing their friends and family the truth, Kaylee wanted this to be available so that everyone knows that it's not Maddie's fault and it's so much deeper than that. Mm -hmm. Burden of proof. Um, and if I had the chance to renew, you know there isn't a thing I wouldn't do. I could get back on the right track, but only if you'd be convinced, so until then. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Hearts. Oh my gosh. What's behind it? The King and Queen of Cups, Maddie and Kaylee. Maddie and Kaylee, what? A release. Yeah, they're guiding their friends and family to see the truth and it's up to them to realize it or not. Mm -hmm. Going on an adventure, discovery. Oh, and the card on the back of the deck was the Six of Swords. That's a transition. Okay. Um, let's do Kaylee's Soul Lesson. has two females on the card too the law of transmutation energize the mental picture of your dream the interview figuring out how to transmute the interview to me in a way that i would understand and be able to put it out in the way that she wanted it out we're going to end with five cards of these um Oh, she's letting us know a secret now. Okay. This is what she wants to do. We're going to do five cards. She's telling us a secret about the power supply, about the people at the top. Okay, five cards and then a song and then we're done and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then jump into Maddie's reading today as well. Okay. She's telling us a secret about the people at the top. Beach. The other deaths in the area. Uh huh. 
exposing corruption. The other deaths in the area are related to the same organization. Which should have collapsed under the pressure of this, but that shows you how big it is. There's the flower reference. One, two, three, four, last card. Not the last card. They use the, the parties and drugs on colleges, college campuses to do social experiments. Once you're out of your mind, This is the last card. Man-made disaster in the bird. That's what you want me to say, isn't it? The drugs that are on the college campuses are laced with something. Um, and I know that that's like a known thing, but it's something that you would not expect because it's something that allows some kind of access to the brain or some kind of monitoring on the human psyche or something that you aren't aware is happening, but is. Um, it's worse than you think, it's bigger than you think, and it's more evil than you think. And I'm pretty sure that this part of the message is essentially Kaylee letting her friends know if you're watching this, it's not what you think. It's bigger than you think. It's worse and deeper than you think. It is not just fun drugs. It is a social experiment and it is more dangerous than you could ever imagine. And once you're in, you are trapped. There is no way out other than what happened to the four. Notice the lips are sewn shut. Kaylee saying, I refuse to let my lips be sewn shut because I uncovered how big it actually was. And that's why I'm no longer here. She accidentally uncovered how big it was she wasn't looking really i mean she was a little she was curious but she accidentally uncovered something and couldn't unsee it because she was believing it was just that just fun good time she realized that there was so much more to it than that. And she refused to just sit around and watch everyone perish one by one without any chance or hope to see that it was bigger. Two cards. You think that you're being given a good time, but what you're really given is access to an outside source to either your psyche or studying how you act in certain situations so that you can then be manipulated. Mm -hmm.
Kaylee's saying, you don't have to do what I do and make a big fuss and try and say things. But you do have to understand that this is not just fun and games. This is not just parties and escaping from your minds. They know that you want to do that. They know that the pressure in the school systems and colleges create a, like a, it's almost like it creates that to happen because there's so much pressure and so much stress. What else are you gonna do to relieve it? Obviously you're gonna go hang with your friends and get drunk and do things, right? It's a human experiment. Brian knew it, Kaylee knew it, and Maddie knew it. Now two of them are dead and one is in jail. Because they did not want to let any word of what was actually happening come out. I'll be back with Maddie's reading soon. I'll be back with Maddie's reading soon. The theme will be what Maddie's plan was to get away from all of this. Talk to you soon.